Hi, I'm Scott Blackshire, curator of the Tobin Collection of Theater Arts, and welcome to today's event curated by Kira Sandoval from the McNay's education team and produced by Clayton Price and Paul Feuerbacher from our multimedia team. I hope we can all agree that today is a perfect time to take advantage of the healing powers found in art and music. So here in the McNay Art Museum's Brown Gallery, among MGM soundstage backdrops inspired by Renaissance artists, San Antonio's Pamela Martinez will be our guide for an immersive and meditative sound bath performance of deep listening and sonic expressions. Pamela holds a bachelor's degree in music education from Berklee College of Music in Boston and teaches her craft here at Southtown Music Studio located in the Mercury Project Contemporary Art Space. Pamela shares her love for music and wellness through work with Teletextile Ritual Arts Ensemble, collaborators that weave together music, movement, Reiki, and other healing rituals into a blend of performance and spiritual practice. You can learn more about sound baths and other healing arts at www.teletextile.org. Now, take a deep breath in, Gently release it, relax, and enjoy. And welcome to the Sistine Sun Bath. So before we begin any sound, just want to do a short introduction on um, what a sound bath is. So a sound bath is another way of saying sound meditation. And a meditation um, can take many forms. And it can be different things to many people. But the way I like to think of it is that a meditation is our time to reset and to tune in. In the same way a lot of instruments here need tuning and need to um, be calibrated in order to play at their best, the human body also can use tuning. And meditation is a good way of doing that. It's a way to... Tune into your higher power, and that, that can be a spiritual way of saying it, or a way to tune into your subconscious, which is more of a psychological, mental way of saying it. Um, and a meditation is um, a non-dogmatic form. There's all, all kinds of ways. It's not connected to any um, religion or any particular beliefs. So it's a, a beautiful way to connect with your community in the diversity of beliefs that we have. So um, I join, I'm asking you to join with us today in that peace and in that um, resetting and tuning in. So uh, just a little bit more is I will invite you in a few minutes to um, Close your eyes and rest. Sometimes a sound bath on a virtual sound bath is best with um, headphones or maybe a speaker. So if you have that and you're comfortable with that, you might want to grab those. Um, if not, your phone or a computer device will work just fine. Um, also, find a comfortable space. So you don't need to look at the screen at all the whole time. You're welcome to if that's calming for you, but um, you can lie down, you can sit down, you don't need any special equipment. And yeah, so welcome and we'll begin. So we invite you to find a comfortable spot into the wave, into the pulse, into the sound. Wave, pulse, sound. And this section of our sound off is an induction. So just getting your body ready, getting your mind settled, finding place and um, stretching where you need to, moving where you need to. And hopefully by the end of this induction, you'll feel a restful, a restful groundedness. So we invite you to close your eyes into the wave, into the pulse, into the sound. Wave, pulse, sound. We invite you to 
Notice your breath. Feeling a cool inhale through your nose and a warm exhale. Into the wave. Into the pulse. Into the sound. Wave. Pulse. Sound. If it feels right for you, we invite you to set an intention for your meditation. Into the wave. Into the pulse. Into the sound. Wave. Pulse. Sound. We invite you to relax into the wave. Into the pulse. Into the sound. Wave. Pulse. Sound. Wave, pulse, sound, wave, pulse, sound. And I'll lead us through a short body scan. So imagining that wave, that pulse, that sound flowing through and past each body part I mentioned and bringing a calm, rested, loving kindness feeling starting at the top of your head, flowing down over your brow, falling off the back of your head, over the bridge of your nose, your lips and cheeks, moving down past your chin, falling to your neck, moving past your shoulders, Flowing over your chest and your back, moving along your arms, going down through your torso, down past your waist, moving lower past your hips, feeling a calm into your legs. Flowing down to the backs of your knees, over your kneecaps. Feeling the loving kindness moving down your shins and your calves. Moving down your ankles, over the tops of your feet the bottoms of your feet and flowing out through your toes, letting that grounded feeling cover your entire body.
Imagine that you are a being of sound. Wave. Yes. Sound. Composed of many tones. Wave. Yes. Sound. Your shape. Movements, desires, and motivations all come from an inner concert. Wave. Yes. Sound. Wave. Yes. Sound. Everything you know and feel is sound. Wave. Yes. Sound. Your concert is everywhere. Wave. Yes. Sound. When you dance, your body organs will make sound. And your muscles will play the correct tones. Wave. Sound. Your voice will sing praises and the stars will shine upon you. At your own pace, start bringing yourself back into your body, into the space. Taking your time to let the world back in. And before you open your eyes, making any notes of if you set any intentions during your meditation. Remembering that tuning in to what you've received. And when you feel ready, a nice way to come back into the space is to take your hands and put them over your eyes and open your eyes within your cupped hands, letting the light slowly back in, opening your fingers up and coming back into the space. Thank you so much for joining us today for this midday meditation of sound and one of my favorite um, things about sound and meditating with sound is how transformative it is and how um, easy it is to fall into a meditation so we really appreciate you joining us today for I'm sure some people's first practice and I'll turn it over to Kira who I think I might close out our day or see if anybody has comments. Literally live in the gallery. Thank you so much to everyone for attending. Pamela, just so you know, we're getting a lot of love in the chat. Thanks. Tons of thank yous. Beautiful. That was so lovely. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much to everyone for attending and taking up this digital space with us. I hope it was restoring for you. Oh, it looks like we've got someone joining for, from Oregon. She says that was sublime. Hmm, that's awesome. Uh, someone's asking, do you all have a space in town where you practice? We do. So I've been doing virtual monthly sound baths ever since COVID. Um, so you can find us... Um, you can find out more about us, more, find out more about us at teletextile.org. Most active on Instagram, the handle is teletextile, like telephone, but teletextile. Um, so we do the second to last Sunday of the month, we've been doing virtual by donation, just on Instagram and Facebook. 
Um, we do plan to do things in person in San Antonio um, outdoors in the next few months. So we would love to have you there. Um, we, I practice out of Mercury Project, which is a contemporary art space in the Southtown District here. So it's, we're easy to find if you find us on Instagram. We post about them, but yeah. I also do um, private sound baths, so that's always an option. So all of this started as an extension of a musical project. And so just so you know, if you want to hear a different branch of the sound that I create, there's a lot to hear on Spotify and YouTube that um, is not meditation-based, but it's under the same project name because as a group, we do a lot of things. Um, the meditations are close to my heart because I feel like I need them. and um, But it also... I work in immersive theater, and I also um, do like performances in a more traditional songwriting fashion band thing. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Natasha. Thank you, McNay. So we are so happy to be here. Thank you, everybody. Bye.